In this video, we'll look at the titration curve of a weak acid such as acetic acid titrated with a strong base like sodium hydroxide. The initial pH of a weak acid solution is higher than that of a strong acid because the weak acid only partially dissociates. To calculate this initial pH, we use an ice table and the Ka value of the acid. As we begin adding sodium hydroxide, we enter the buffer region. In this region, the pH increases gradually because the solution resists drastic changes in pH. The buffer is formed by the presence of both the weak acid and its conjugate base, as the strong base begins to neutralize the acid. At the half equivalence point, the concentrations of the weak acid and its conjugate base are equal. This means the pH is equal to the pKa of the acid. The henderson hasselbalch equation simplifies to pH equals pKa at this point. At the equivalence point, all of the weak acid has been neutralized by the strong base. But unlike strong acid strong base titrations, the pH at this point is not neutral. It is above 7 because the conjugate base undergoes hydrolysis and produces hydroxide ions. The pH is typically around 8.5 to 9.5. Beyond the equivalence point, we are adding excess sodium hydroxide. Now hydroxide ions are in excess and the pH increases sharply into the basic range. It's also important to know the major species present at different stages of the titration. At the beginning, it's mostly the weak acid, HA. In the buffer region, both HA and A- are present. At the equivalence point, it's only A-. Beyond the equivalence point, it's excess OH- ions from the added base. In the AP chemistry exam, you should be ready to estimate the pH at key points along the curve, identify the half equivalence point, and explain why the pH equals pKa there. You may also be asked to describe buffer behavior, identify major species in solution at different stages, and choose an appropriate pH indicator such as phenolphthalein, which changes color around pH 8 to 10.